Welcome to Carly Tackles, cleaning your saw blades and your router bits. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel, Carly Tackles DIY Tools and Gadgets Tips and Tricks. At the time of filming this video and in my area, saw blades are costing me around 50 bucks. I was able to pick up this cleaning kit from Rockler for 35. That's reason number one. Reason number two is when you have resin buildup on your blades, like seen here, it can cause burn marks on your wood. So cleaning your blade can produce better results. In this video, I'm gonna clean some dado blades, saw blades, and a router bit, and unbox this cleaning kit so you can see everything that comes in this box. Now this cleaning kit you only have to buy once, and then you can purchase the solution later on benefit of the cleaning kit is it comes with a nice big tub with a lid that allows you to keep your cleaning solution long term and you can just swap in your blades. It comes with a brush, it comes with a little container meant for your router bits and its own lid as well, and then it comes with the cleaning solution that you can purchase at Rockler as well. Now if you don't have a Rockler near you, they have a website, you can order it, and if you use the promo code WOODTALK, one word, you should get free shipping on either purchases $39.99 and up or $49.99 and up. I can't remember, but if you're watching this and know, please put that answer in the comments below. You can find the directions on the back of the cleaning solutions bottle. For this, we are going to mix one part solution and three parts water. So I started with three cups of water first, pour it into my dish, and then I'll add one cup of solution and kind of mix it together. While I'm at it, I'm gonna grab some and put in my little container for the router bit. Once your solution is good and stirred, you can place your blades in the solution. Placing my dado stacks in there, you do wanna make sure that they're under the solution. And I will also take my little router bit and set it in its container to soak. Now you don't have to place a lid in. I am to keep the dust particles out of the solution so it can last longer. We're gonna allow the blades and bits to soak anywhere between three to five minutes. And lucky for you, this is a YouTube video and you don't actually have to wait the three to five minutes. I pull out my first blade, grab that brass bristle brush that comes with the kit, and I start cleaning the blades. Now I have my finger through the little hole in the middle and I'm t just twirling it on my finger. I'm trying to brush the sides and the front of it and knock off that resin. I'll get a closer look of it for you, but I'm just working my way around. Now this is a blade, be careful not to cut yourself. Know where your fingers are. So a closer look here, I'm just kind of going in circulars around the sides of the blades first. And you can see some of my marks coming off right in front of your eyes. And once I've gone through all of the teeth, I start going through the front and making sure the very front of the teeth is clean and your router bits will be very similar. Some of your bit shapes may require more work. This is one of those that have multi-blades carbide tips, and so some of my resin got stuck in between the blades, and I was using that brush to get it out. And the other router bits are normally two blades, five blades, and a lot easier to get in and out. Um, but I thought this was a good test for the cleaner and see how well it dissolved that resin. After I cleaned these off, I did kind of give them a rinse to remove some of the solution. And in my research, I found that it's recommended to re-lubricate your blades and bits with some of these coatings. This one I found is called Blade Coat, and it's supposed to help return some of the natural oils to the blade to help keep it from rusting. There you have it, nothing was too hard. I cleaned the dado stack, saw blades and router bits. You saw what little brushing I really had to do. The solution did a great job and look at the final product. Those blades look brand new and I promise you they were not. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. And if you care to support this channel in other ways, please check out my new Patreon page where you can support this channel and future projects. Thank you.